Good morning, dear ones. So, uh, we'll continue with the story, The Princess September. Uh, we have read till now that Princess September, you know, she was um, the she was actually kind of really a beautiful princess, first of all, because we have always read since our childhood that she was very pretty. And she was by heart also, uh, you know, one of the... Uh, one of the kindest of all okay and uh, her father had a very strange habit of gifting things you know on his birthday and on one such occasion he gifted them uh, some parrots and um, after some days uh, you know uh, the the parrots uh, they could learn things because the sisters you know all the sisters of Princess September they made the parrots learn things, but uh, eventually what happened the parrot of Princess September died and she became so desolate so sad that she just uh, you know she just quit uh, eating and drinking everything and suddenly one day. Like, you know, that particular day she was very upset. Her mother also did not take much care of her. And she was sitting, she was lying, you know, in her room. And suddenly she sees a bird hopping on her window. And this bird starts singing beautiful songs. And uh, now let's start from here. The little bird gave her a bow. Would you care to help me in the place of your parrot? And the bird said that, can you please keep me in place of your parrot? It is true that I am not so pretty to look at. But on the other hand, I have a much better voice. The bird said that, you know what, I am not as pretty as your parrot, but let me, but trust me, I have a very good voice. Princess September clapped her hands with delight, and then the little bird hopped onto the end of her bed and sang her to sleep. Now, princess, she clapped her hands like, you know, she was so happy with delight. Clap me. This, okay. And with delight. Happiness. Okay. And then the little bird hopped on. Hop means jumped on to the end of her bed. And she sang such beautiful songs. And the princess September, she fell asleep. Now, when she awoke next day, the little bird was still there. And as she opened her eyes, he said, good morning. Now, the next day when princess September got up, she opened her eyes and what? The bird was still there and the bird wished her good morning. The maids of honor brought in her breakfast and he ate rice out of her hand and he had his bath in her saucer. Like Princess September, uh, her maids, you know, they brought in some breakfast and the bird, she ate rice. Ate is the second form of eat. So she ate rice from Prince's hand and um, the bird had her bad in the saucer. Saucer means a plate. He began to sing again so beautifully that the maids of honor were quite surprised. Like they were so surprised seeing such a beautiful bird singing because they had never heard anything like it. And Princess September was very, very proud and very, very happy. Now I want you to know uh, now I want to show you to my eight sister, said the princess. She said, okay, fine. I would like to show you around now. And she stretched out the first finger of her right hand so that it served as a perch and the little bird flew down and sat on it. Like princess, her, she stretched out her you know, finger and the bird sat on it. Then followed by her maids of honor, she went to the palace and she called on each of the princes. Like the princess September, she ran throughout the palace and she called on all her sisters. And for each of them, the little bird sang a different song. Like little bird, she sang beautiful songs. But the parrots, they only, you know, repetitively said, God save the king, God save the king, pretty folly. Because they had learned only these two lines. <laughs> At last, she showed the little bird to the king and the queen. And they were very surprised and delighted. They were really happy. I knew I was right to send you to bed without any supper, said the queen. Now, since the queen that particular day, when princess was upset, she did not take care of the princess and she just asked him to go to bed and like, you know, no need for supper and all. Now she's saying that she's trying to, you know, just give a justification to that kind of treatment which she gave to princess. 
This bird sings much better than the parrots and the king. Now king said, oh, this bird sings much better than the parrots. I should have thought you got quite tired of hearing people say, God save the king, uh, said the queen. So the queen said, you know, I, he, uh, I think that, you know, the parrots, they keep repeating the same thing. So I think it's nice to be hearing something new. And I can think why those girls wanted to teach their parents to say it too. And she said, I don't know why these girls have taught their parents to, to say these two lines only. The sentiment is admirable, said the king. And I never mind how often I hear it. He said, no, no, it's fine that our daughters, you know, made the parents learn it and it's okay because you know what what is more important is the sentiment and i do get tired of hearing those parrots say pretty polly pretty polly they say it in seven different languages said the princesses now princesses they try to you know they try to kind of defend their parents and they say though our parrots say it in seven languages I dare say they do, said the king. I know they do. But it reminds me too much of my counselors. But those parrots, they remind me of my counselors. Why counselors? Counselors are the people who give counseling to king. And he said every time they say those foolish words, it reminds me of my those people who give me counseling. They say the same thing in seven different and it never means anything in any way they say it. And king said that my counselor would say the same thing in all different ways and never would it make any difference to me because every time it would mean something really stupid <laughs> all right everyone will stop here and we'll continue from the next page tomorrow thank you everyone